Barshins is brought to you by our awesome patrons. Thanks for supporting the channel. So I basically went from thinking I'm going to teach at the best pastry school in the world yeah. to stripping in front of uh, a room shit. full of women. Barshans. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Barshans. Hi, Stuart. Hello, Barry. How are you doing, man? I'm very well. Today, I'm very happy to introduce... The topless baker, Matt Allard. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, sir. Thank you for joining us. Clothed. Cl yes. Which you made a very clear point of as I walked in. Like, <laughs> yeah. Top. yeah, we didn't I really want to... we were going to take all our tops off and you could uh, just wear yours. Okay. So, a bit of a reverse. I was trying to explain but the concept of the topless baker and I was, I was saying that you just don't have a torso, it's just legs. Yeah. And you, and you yeah. Make, with your, make bread and cakes with your feet We're waiting stuff, for the so. bottomless baker. We're waiting yeah. for the female topless baker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all yeah. coming. Mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah, w that needs to happen. There's actually a naked baker on Patreon who's like... Oh. I mean, seriously. Oh, naked. like proper chorizo out Pro and stuff? And, well, it's a woman, it's a woman. Oh. oh. But I mean, she's, she's, she's probably making some good money, yeah. I reckon. So yeah. there's... Uh, she was like money. naked cleaning, naked cooking. I think she'd slipped into my DMs the other day and I was like, I just can't engage. Wow. <laughs> I'm yeah. too scared. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want to start this ball rolling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just didn't reply. Shall we start with a little intro? Can you summarise who you are? Yeah. You live in Norwich, which is where we are. Actually, Norwich fact very quickly. Norwich was the first town or city in the UK to invent postcodes or use postcodes. There you are. I'm not that, even from Norwich, and I know that. I didn't know Norwich that. Norwich facts. I didn't know that. I know. Let's get it no. trending. <laughs> get it trending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I am, just, yes. yeah, I'll give you a little, I'm Matt, also known as Topless Baker. Mm. So I'm, uh, what do we call ourselves? Social influencers? Is that, Ooh. oh, yeah. content yeah. creator? Uh, I'm, I'm like a basically very amateur pastry chef, uh, but I have a YouTube channel, an Instagram account, Facebook, Twitter, all the things the kids are on. Yeah. I'm there, yeah. making content around baking. I just really love baking patisserie. Patisserie? Is that a baking yeah. patisserie? Yeah. Doing well, yeah. patisserie? You know what you mean. Me. Yeah. Like eclairs, cakes, macarons, entremets. I'm very fascinated by all of that. Not that great at it, but like yeah. trying to get great. Yeah, he's very humble as well because his Instagram feed is possibly the most food porny, <laughs> amazing place I've ever yeah, been that, mm. and there I, wasn't I, a single thing in there i wouldn't have eaten immediately yeah I'd I'd love like, that. that's good so, stuff yeah we'll plug it a bit more at the end but uh yeah it's right. awesome to have you and you, you are fully clothed so you know yes that is that is good <laughs> um not that you ever do we'll have to point that out for the audio version of the podcast <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll, yeah we'll get to that maybe later on the embarrassing Which is odd, yeah. all other guests have been naked yeah it's weird how it happens yeah. isn't it wow yeah. i was at a hotel a few months ago and i was checking and i was like oh room for matthew adlard and they're like you know you're not on the system so what do you mean I'm not on the system? And I saw he had some envelopes in the back and there was just an envelope for Topless Bacon. He's like, Topless Bacon? I was like, yep. So the name was under Topless Bacon. Oh, so wow. <laughs> as I checked out, she goes, obviously I'd never seen this one. She goes, did you have a nice day, Mr. Baker? So on the, <laughs> <laughs> on the system, it obviously said my first name was Topless and then Baker. I was like, oh, that is so embarrassing. Is that Swiss? Yeah. And she just yeah. said, so guys, did you have a nice day, Mr. Baker? I was like, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> it could be French, but it all uh, dash on the end. Yeah, de bless. <laughs> Doubles back air. All right, should we have a shot call? This is a little uh, local news sh shenanigans. And the news at 10. Uh, you today, today? Uh, we have something a little bit different to normal. So this is an article as in a written up article as opposed to a news article. It is the eight strangest things people have married. Mm -mm. Yes. I thought this was a good one. because pretty good. You used your dog to... Uh... I did. Recently engaged. August. Is that recent? Uh, yeah, 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 that's close enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should, we get, should we do that first and then compare? Okay. Or do you yeah. want to do these first? No, no, I'm, I'm, I need to yeah. hear the story. Okay. So you Come used on, your dog? Yeah, yeah. Will so you I, marry him? <laughs> <laughs> Will you marry him? <laughs> so I have a dog uh, aptly named Cookie. Yes. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm a baker, so it's good that she's named Cookie. And uh, when well, we yeast, go for... yeast, you could have called it yeast. Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> nutritional <laughs> yeast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn it. That'd be a good one. <laughs> And uh, on our dog walks, you know, this, you know, this one of these cutesy things. You're a dog owner. Are you a dog yeah. owner? Uh, not at the moment. Not but at the I've moment. Had dogs. Okay. You know, you kind of have Let these cutesy that. things you do with your dog. And mm. It's quite embarrassing. You don't want to talk in public, but I'm going to do it on a podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we play this game where I will hold the dog and Sasha will run off and hide. That's and the dog's name, yeah? yeah. Okay. No, no, no. S Sasha's my fiance. Oh, Cookie. right. <laughs> Cookie is the dog. Oh, of Cookie course, yeah. Like, <laughs> so I thought it was a, gave it two names. What? 
Cookie was a human? I what? Know, give it a right. Yes. I'm okay. actually marrying my wife, Cookie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she hides behind a tree and she goes, Cookie, come find me or whatever. And Cookie runs and finds her. So we walk in the park and I was yeah. like, why don't you go hide? Go hide. And she was like, no, I don't want to go hide. She's had a bad day at work. I was like, go and hide behind <laughs> a tree. And anyways, I got Cookie a custom bandana that said, go find daddy. I am daddy, obviously. Yeah. And so Sasha called Cookie and she ran to Sasha and Sasha looked at her and she was like, what the hell is around your neck? And she kind of peeked up from behind the tree and there I was on one knee. Ah, nice. And that was how I got engaged. Imagine she's like, yeah, go find daddy. Genius. That's not my dog. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, you know, go find daddy. It's wow. a bit cringe to tell people no, in no, public. No, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> no. Did you film it or anything? Or? I, you know what? I didn't actually film it, but I made her a video in the run up. So I got the ring custom made. Oh, right. So I kind of filmed the whole process of ordering a diamond, getting the ring built. I asked her mum and her dad and I filmed them after I'd asked them. So I was like, oh, look, let me get your live reaction of me just asking you. And we're both all like in tears. Oh, um, ask yeah, the parents. Yeah, yeah, ask the parents. So I kind of compilated that into one. So as soon as I proposed, I then gave her my phone. I said, now you need to watch this video because she's the kind of woman, woman, girl, woman. She asked a lot of questions. So she'd be like, where'd you get the ring? Uh, how long have you had it? When do you ask my parents? When do you know you're going to do it? And I was like, all right, I'm not going to answer any questions. Just watch the video because that will explain mm. everything. Because I'm lazy. Like yeah, that. Well, no, that's cool. Lazy, yeah. How did you find asking the parents? I had to do that. It's uh, just something about it. It's very, it's very traditional, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if it's very common in other countries, but yeah, you have to ask for permission and all that. And uh, I don't know, I found it quite like... Gee, it's more. It was almost more nervous than that asking her. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, what if they say no? I was, you know, I wasn't worried about saying no. I guess I was asking her dad was like quite emotional because he's a very you know stone faced okay. man, and so he, I think it was like seven a.m. Really, I got up early because he gets up early, so mm. I got up and I was like, he was washing the dishes, and I was like, sorry to bombard you, but I'm gonna marry your daughter, and he was like, oh, and just like started crying, so that was weird. Bloody for hell. Me oh. Yeah, to see it because he so just stern. broke down. Yeah. yeah, and then I asked her mum, and she just. She kind of just didn't really show much oh, emotion. So she, she was like, yeah. And it's I was like, reversal yeah, I was like, I wanted, you know, I was expecting you to cry or get more emotional, but she didn't. Wow. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you didn't marry a cookie. I'm sorry, I got that no. wrong. <laughs> but did you marry, well, the number no, number one on oh, that here list. Here we go, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. This is from sorry, a previous chart called. Guess what the number one well, is. Well, I, I know what it is, so I'm going to shut up. I'm going to say it's a building. No, it's not a building. It's a well-known one from Barshans. That's what I'll give you. Yeah, we, we have actually kind of covered this before, yeah. Um, this is No Rule, Marja Bean Hassan married Tetris, the video game. Yeah. Oh! The concept of the video game Tetris. But she specifically channels it, I believe, through an NES cartridge. <laughs> yeah, she had anything to do with Tetris. She really loved it. Like, yeah. she has pillows, um, Game Boys and all stuff like that. And she married Tetris. And we, we spoke about this on a previous show articles and it was just insane. And I think, didn't she split up with... Yes. She split up with Tetris? No. no she, like Fortnite. Then was, uh, yeah, she, she, she got <laughs> with Tetris. <laughs> yeah, she cheated on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Down with the kids. Yeah. You're um, such a wooden she, she was, uh, she was previously in a relationship with a calculator named Pierre. Okay. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So she's, yeah. you know, got had some interesting relationship yes. history. Yeah. 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 How does she know the calculator's called Pierre? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is Maybe Tetris called Pierre? It's on the back, isn't it? Old yeah. school. Yeah, pick it off. And oh, that's it. You just got it from a second hand shop and it said Pierre on the yeah. back. Yeah. So that was number one on the list. Oh, my uh, God. <clears throat> Next one. Pascal Salik, oh, this was in the news recently, has just married a duvet. <laughs> what? what? I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, it's what's cozy, so, right? What's it's so special about yeah. one duvet. She, she yeah. says it's the most intimate and reliable relationship <laughs> she's ever had. Oh. Wow. I, feel, I mean, I, could, I feel yeah. that. Yeah. I understand like, that exact sentence. Like, I'm intimate with my duvet, and it's always there. Never yeah, fails me. So, yeah. It keeps yeah. me warm. <laughs> it, is, it is consistent. Yeah, it'll never let you down. Yeah. Right? yeah. A 49 year old from Devon. She is a. Uh, that is a potential. Artist of some type. She shouldn't have to yes. buy a wedding dress. Yeah. She just wraps yeah. it around. <laughs> yeah, everywhere she goes. Yeah. It's a cheap wedding. They was thinking ahead. Just leaves there. the house, just <laughs> takes it around. Like, yeah. <laughs> just waddling around. <laughs> The next one, right, not only is the thing she married fantastic, but her name has just tickled me. Amanda Sparrow Large. Wow. <laughs> come on, guys. It's Large, large. Sparrow. Yeah, come, come on. on. Uh, hyphen Large? No, certainly not. Amanda wow. Sparrow Large. Married the ghost of a pirate. <laughs> what? What? Oh, she has split from the ghost of the pirate. Oh, oh, yeah. there's an update. As you know, yeah, in the article yeah. it says update. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> update, yeah. six months later. She is a professional Jack Sparrow impersonator. <laughs> what? 
Yes. Uh, her husband was 300 years old and dead, and she legally married him, uh, was legally married to him, at least from Haiti, I believe, by a shaman priest. Wow. Or a shaman priest, depending on the Um Laura Messi, uh, or Messi, Mesa, I'm going to say Messi, married herself. <laughs> Works well, isn't it? yeah. Simple. I mean, yeah. sometimes there is no one better than yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is the height of narcissism, isn't it, really? It's yeah. Uh, like marriage that. to herself holds no legal weight. Oh, I'm not that's particularly okay. surprised by that, frankly. I mean, I'm surprised that marrying a ghost holds any legal weight. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, exactly. So, so right. has the yeah. ghost given do have a Ouija yeah. board? Uh, I do. Did one of her friends like levitate a pen to try and <laughs> sign, <laughs> the, like, sign it? Like, come sign on. the registry. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, Amanda Liberty. God, they've all got great names. Yeah, they're strong. Amanda Liberty married a chandelier. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, but she is in an. Oh. Oh, is it? No, hang on, this is not quite as simple, actually. She's embarked on an open relationship now with Chandelier and is engaged to a 28-inch wide light called Lumiere after buying it on eBay. Wow. wow. Uh, oh, this ain't good. Amanda, oh, Amanda Rogers married her dog... Okay. Oh, I was close. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought you did. Yeah. You thought I'd married my <laughs> to dog. To be honest, so yeah. Could be me. My fiance called Cookie. Oh, sorry. Like, she had <laughs> 200 <laughs> guests at the wedding. Oh. Uh, Human or dog? Oh, what? <laughs> I mean, you can meet a lot of people mm. in a dog park. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You, know. you can, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sal9000, uh, I okay. presume that's not his real name, <laughs> a Japanese man who married a computer game character right. called Nene and Nagasaki and is from the Nintendo DS virtual dating game Love Plus. I wonder if that's the sprite or, you know, like what we had a, on a moment ago with Daz. Oh, hang game? on. Is Was it the actual... Is it 3D or 2D? It does look is kind of 2D. Or... I can't zoom in enough, but... Yeah, crazy. Well, I mean, makes well. it suddenly feel a bit more normal now. Like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the... Oh, oh no, Amy Wolf has married a fairground ride. <laughs> wow. I just... Maybe she got some sort of emotional thing as she was going around on the on the roller coaster. Where do you store was, that? Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> yeah. You know, like, and take it down every night. Like. <laughs> the fairground ride is a real difficult thing yeah, to yeah. transport. Yeah. To, oh. and, and it's technically owned by another person, mm. so you can just go, "Oi, no yeah. more coming in here and canoodling with our roller and you coaster." You think you have to pay every time? I mean, that's an expensive. That's right. Yeah. Partner. Oh yeah, they're not going to let her in pound, free, are they? Pound. Yeah. So at night time, oh, I'm going to bed now, love. Are you coming up? Yeah, yeah I'll be in a minute. All right. Yeah. Are you coming up? <laughs> yep. And then I'm going to bed really quickly. <laughs> oh. So Bloody hell. we best get on to something a bit more. <laughs> yeah, a bit less horrific. Less, yeah, yes. odd. Um, how did you start the Topless Baker? Like, what, where did the... Yeah, give us Ooh. the story. So I... My dad was a Michelin star chef. Yes. From around here, Norwich. Yes, I don't know he if had you had ever a ate restaurant. At Maybe back in the day. What was it called? I believe I've heard it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it there was go. very good, if I recall as well. <laughs> yeah. Just saying that. No, it genuinely um, was, actually. But <laughs> he had a mission start, so I grew up and never wanted to cook. I hated it. Really? Oh, yeah. hated food. I never wanted to be in food. He would go to bed at like 4 a.m. And, you know, I was like a kid waiting for my dad to be awake and he was asleep till like midday. I was like, come on, like I want to want to do something so that kind of really put me off food um i always wanted to make tv commercials my dream was to make tv commercials um so i went to university i studied international business um and then while i was at university i guess i was studying so much so i was like oh, i just i need something to do in my spare time i started to make cakes and i start. i made a i remember the first one was a nigella lawson chocolate orange cake oh nice and a well it wasn't nice <laughs> and a, a Nigella Lawson Victoria sponge and I had no equipment so I had no scales I had no mixers so literally it was like 400 grams of flour and I took a converted teaspoons into grams so I was like one teaspoon there's like what, 400 400 grams in yeah, a teaspoon literally wow. I was like that's a big old uh, two. so I mean drug dealer territory yeah, that is oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. micro scales <laughs> yeah and it you know obviously the the recipe was a disaster because I was ah. measuring everything in teaspoons and I think I got this pang that I really wanted to not fail at mm. it um so anyways went to finished university carried on kind of baking a little bit in the side um went into what I thought was making tv commercials and I realized there was 
two different things in in TV. There's a media agency and a creative agency, and I didn't I didn't know the difference. And I went into a media agency, which is basically just spending nine hours a day on Excel, mm. uh, and a creative agency. They're the people that make the TV commercials. So I got the wrong job, um, <laughs> which was you know. So what are these spreadsheets? What are they? What are on those spreadsheets? What are they doing? The stats? I mean, yeah, you're like reporting figures. So we did a lot of social analytics. So like pulling numbers from Facebook about how right. many like likes or comments or shares yeah. and graphing that up and pulling a lot of pivot tables i mean i sp- i learned a lot about excel i, I love a pivot table oh i love a pivot table <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but pivot, i just pivot, pivot yeah. cake anyways i was baking all all the time every weekend you know my girlfriend would be like what are we gonna do this weekend i'm like well i've, I've got to make this cake or whatever it was and i started doing live streaming I don't know if you guys remember the days of Periscope. Oh, Periscope, yes. 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 Is that still about? Yeah, it still uh, exists, yeah. at it's least. It's part of Twitter, though. Yeah. Yeah. LinkedIn, yeah. 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 But I did Meerkat. So this launched at South by Southwest. And it was like, this is it. Meerkat, live yeah. streaming is the next big thing. You know, YouTube, face, forget about it. It's going to be live yeah, streaming. Yeah. So I was like, great. Well, I'm never going to be a YouTuber. I'm never going to get that big. I'm never going to beat Jamie Oliver on mm. YouTube. So I'm, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to start live streaming. Mm. And someone just the week before, I don't know, it was very convenient timing, but they were like, oh, you um, you like to bake and you, you exercise. Why don't you do it topless or naked? I was like, no, that's disgusting. I would <laughs> never do that. And then for some reason, I just Googled topless baker and there was one article in the Daily Mail about this guy in China who'd gone viral for like cooking topless, like one video. Right. I was like, okay, there's, there's no topless baker in the world. So I got all the URLs, I bought the website, I bought the, got the handles, and started this little blog and then the live streaming came out I was like okay I'm going to live stream this topless baker thing so here we go first night super nervous I was going to make fresh pasta I don't know why I was going to make <laughs> yeah. the first night yeah, yeah. I made fresh pasta and I was like okay here we go which isn't baking no which isn't baking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so I set my phone up and I had a I had quite a good little table and it was on the front of a window and I had a microwave in front of the window and I put my phone kind of like I didn't have a tripod or anything I didn't, I didn't so self shot then yeah. yeah 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 I didn't have a tripod I didn't, I didn't know what a tripod was and I just <laughs> kind of held my phone in place with like you know a can of beans or whatever it was press like go live and then like ready here we go I'm gonna be famous here we go and uh just there's no one there's really? no one came in and then like one person came in and was like hey I'm Tom Smaker they, they, they leave Okay. Oh. Anyways, I did this stream for about 35 minutes, eight people. <clears throat> okay. So eight people. Yeah. Which, you know, I was expecting a little bit, but I didn't give up. That was, you know, that was pretty much going to knock my confidence then. Within two weeks, I think there were like a thousand people tuning into okay. these shows. And I was like, okay, wow, yeah. like, this is this is legit. And I'm this is Meerkat. Or, yeah, yeah, Meerkat. I so this is Meerkat. meerkat. Yeah. And then they, because, you know, it was so new, they were really featuring me because there were, you know, there weren't that many creators on it. Um, so like, hey, this is the guy that does food and made it a nice show reel. And I was like, yes, you know, I'm, I'm going to be famous. Uh, and then just no one live streams, right? It all yeah. came to a very quick halt. Periscope got bought by Twitter. Twitter ended the relationship between Meerkat and you could post automatically and it didn't so work Meerkat's anymore. Meerkat's dead now, is it? Or? Meerkat is dead. They yeah. shut it down. Right. So I basically had built this audience, I'd built, you know, this community and it was gone. It's like, what do I do? Mm. So while I was still working, I just set up an Instagram, I set up a YouTube channel um, and just started posting videos and pictures from there. Um, And it wasn't, you know, probably you guys are experts in this, but it's slow. You know, you put a lot of effort into a video and time and it's like... (gasps) Okay, I got three hundred views. It's like, oh, this is this is killer, and you're putting it on your own Facebook page, and you want someone to go and watch it. And it wasn't really doing that well. I think I maybe had, I want to say like five thousand subscribers, maybe. So it wasn't mega. And then I got featured in a video by Business Insider, so like oh, Food yeah. Insider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They and did these montage was, videos. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it blew up. I was like, what is what is happening? Mm. And they basically did a video that got, I think, got 13 million views on Facebook. Is that where they tag you at the top? And yeah, like, they tag me at the top, but then they also, like, in the video, they had, like, a direct call to action to check out my YouTube channel. Oh, this is the topless baker yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, like, he has you loads of videos. You wouldn't believe what he does next. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and basically, they, they pitched it as, like, this heartthrob that makes cakes, yeah. um, which is what it is. And 
I think I got, I got the most subscribers in the world of anyone on YouTube in 24 hours. I'm like more wow. than Justin Bieber, more oh. than Rihanna. Yeah, like I think I got 80,000 in 24 hours, which That's that insane. day was the most ever. Yeah. Um, so it went from like nothing to like super legit because, you know, as soon as you get a certain number, people are like, oh, well, mm. he's got 100,000. He must be legit. Mm. So I was there like really not knowing what I was doing. Just hit 100, like hit 100,000 and then... The week after release, like a mirror glaze video, which was very trendy. I don't yeah, know if you've seen popular. these, mirror, mm. which back then was super trendy because there were no recipes, but they were really trendy. And I released this recipe, and then that was like boom. So I had this kind of double whammy, uh, and it just grew from there. As yeah. soon as you know, it's just the ball starts rolling. Once you hit 100, it's 150 and 200. Yeah. And so, did you quit your job at some stage? So then, that, yeah, or? so I got to, well, it was probably October 2016. And I'd been working for a company called Tastemade. So it's kind of like yeah, Food Network. Food, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Kind of like Food Network, but the online They'd version. like an MCM and, as well. They were an MCM. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. kind of were. And then they went into like content creation yeah. and set up a new studio in London. And I was making money filming videos with them. And then I was also working full time. So okay. it kind of bankrolled all this cash. <laughs> loads of it. No, not <laughs> yeah. loads of it at all. Um, I was like, right, my girlfriend had finished her accountancy degree. So we quit our jobs, went traveling for three months, which was probably looking back on it quite silly because I literally stopped producing any kind of content oh, for three ooh. months. Yeah, <laughs> literally like just, yeah I was just like, boom, mm -hmm. stopped. Was, so that was a little bit foolish. Um, and then when I came back, I started full time, which was, well, I've been doing it two years full time. Yeah, now. yeah. And then that, that was it. Yeah. That's a, it's a really cool story, I think. And Yeah. Um, I wish it was a bit more, like, I wish there was a bit more to it, but I, it was really that one video that made me successful. Right, like, really, literally yeah. being featured. On it Facebook. does sound like you capitalised on it well with the choice of the mirror glaze, though. Yes, the mirror glaze is, <laughs> was key. But I look back at that video now, I'm like, oh, it's oh, it's so bad. Like the what I made was, yeah, the mousse I made was terrible. Like the video quality really wasn't very good. Um, yeah, I think but, it's all about like a journey, though, what you're on, and you know, learning from that. And like people like my, even my first video of poaching an egg, like, I, I, I was I mulled over loads of times taking it down, but then it's just that evidence that you know, it, and it inspires people. I think. So, yeah, Matt and I, we've probably only met. Did we meet at we've met in the once. City? Yeah, somewhere in the city, wasn't it? It was. I walked into this room very lonely, and I yeah. saw you, and I'm like, Barry, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you from the internet. Please hold my hand. Yeah, <laughs> and we did a cooking demo, which we just wanted to have some fun with it. And I think I had some gadgets, and we got people up on stage. You say really some fun. gadgets. Barry had come with like <laughs> 15 Sainsbury's back. He's like, we need a knife. He went to Sainsbury's and bought like 50 knives. Yeah, He's yeah. Like, it was, oh, uh, we need a chopping board. Bought like four chopping boards. Yeah. It's like. I, so much stuff yeah. I don't know, I've and a whole suitcase of gadgets yeah yeah <laughs> some of them I gave away I gave away one of my favourite ones is a lemon sprayer oh. so when you take the lid off a lemon and you can oh. scent your salad or use it as yeah. an aftershave or something I don't know I, that was my I think I've been a summer in the city twice and I, you know it's an interesting place, isn't it? Oh. I would, you know, it's just, I, I want to hear. I've never been. I'd like to hear right. about it. So you, you do I, the demographic kind of skews a bit young, I think. Yeah, for mine. But it's a polite way of saying I'm too old to go. Well, no, you're. I think you hit the nail on the head. It's so. I mean, there's like 14 year olds yeah. there with 750,000 YouTube subscribers that will never have a job in their life and are making 20,000 pounds a month. And I'm like, oh my god, you just, you don't even know. Like, yeah. you don't, not that you know we are some you know no. the ogs and we you know you need to work your way up but <laughs> yeah they just don't even get it yeah they're, they're, they're yeah. there being chaperoned by their parents mm -hmm. and it's like you do, you just don't even have a you're never going to work in your life exactly yeah and it's like, like there's like a if you can imagine you go into the excel mm -hmm. like just like comic con they've got a room there and they have a sort of like a fairground thing there's so there's stalls with the youtubers there's a merch and stuff and then they've got like yeah like a few rides and other than that when i was thinking if, other than just pe spending money on stuff there's uh, and watching a few demos and talks, it's kind of how MCM else is. It's pretty do. much just a yeah. market. And you know? you know, it's just a place where they just go and spend money. I was looking at some of these kids, they're just like sat there, they're here for the weekend. Some of them have got hotels. It's like, they must be so bored because they've just walked around the room a few times. You know, we, we did a few demo things, but really the YouTubers or anyone else, they're up. In Upstairs, the VIP yeah. suite, there's a Facebook one, there's a Twitter one, and you know, free food and all that. So everyone's hanging wow. out there. But that doesn't yeah. happen at Comic Con. No, I can tell it, you that. Yeah, we it, have a table and we stand behind it for three days. Yeah, yeah it was very Good clicky God. though. That's that's one uh, thing I've oh, found yeah. with any of those events. It's sort of like 
oh my god, it's so and so, and like they know each other, and it's sort of like, and I think you and I hang out together. It's just like, oh my god, these young clicks though, like Mm. this, they're all. And when you go, because I I Google them afterwards, I'm like, right, how famous are you? Yeah, yeah. and then they're all in each other's videos. It's yeah, it's like. Uh, that my gave my sister a thousand pounds to buy me clothes, or <laughs> yeah, like look, yeah. my mum dressed me for the day. I'm like, oh, mm. it's like, oh, this yeah. just the is one it... thing that upsets me. It's like you're not adding any value. That's the like, thing. When I try yeah. and make something, I'm like, am I, am yeah. I adding value to the world? I know I'm not adding value that much value, but I've done teaching on anything. Exactly, Whereas like yeah. giving my dog fifty thousand pounds worth of, cl- oh, I'm just like, yeah. no, <laughs> it's like, yeah, no. it's like a form of entertainment in a way, and it, I don't know, it's. it's as long as people are doing YouTube for the right reasons, but at the same time, if they're making money and maybe if it's not the parents pushing them, I don't know. Yeah. I just it's a very strange mm. world, and I think in the straight, I don't really like doing those events that much. I don't mind doing them with yourself at the Comic Con because you actually stood there and you're meeting your fans, and they didn't really feel like there was that there, and it was. Oh, there is, but like there's some big yeah, lifestyle some YouTubers stuff. that are like very yeah. much. Yeah, and you can have your store somewhere in the that. city is their place, yeah. and you're going to see X, Y, Z. Yeah. Whereas we were like the riff raff. Yeah, we were like, <laughs> yeah. they put us we're on the stage, stage in the corner. So we're the yeah, corner. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like doing all these awards and stuff, wasn't it? And you know, it was cool. cool. And they had like a little oh, event in the evening, and that I just, was terrible. I think I... it makes me realise like sometimes you get worried about like what you're doing this for, or who who the audience is. It's just usernames, and you know, these people are genuine. I felt a little bit sorry for them in a way that they, yeah. it was. It was strange. It just made me think that you know, everyone loves doing what they do. You know, but only when you go and see that. I mean, it's only a portion, a very small portion of maybe not even what your audience is. I know my demographic's older than that anyway. So yeah. like 14 year olds running around buying, you know, going, going on rides is probably not what I'm looking for. So it's no. just really weird to see that. Do you know what I mean? It's, 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 why haven't you yeah. done that, Stu? Is that, again, like what I was sort of saying about the audience type, like the demographics of the people that go there? Or? Yeah, there's just yeah. No, it's such a young... It's like a 14-year-old female audience, basically, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? So yeah. I would have nobody there who would care if I was alive or dead. <laughs> just like yeah. at home. Oh, <laughs> oh man. No, it's, no, uh, it's a unique event. And I think like Comic Con touches more on your niche there. And um, so you go away. Comic Con's US. Or they uh, no, it's up? just uh, MCM in oh, London. Okay. Don't, yeah, don't yeah, do yeah, it anymore. Yeah, yeah. But um, we did it. So did it for a couple of years. Yeah, I came and helped yeah. you a few times. And do you have a little years. stall? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it was it was just sort of constant traffic. You know, people coming. It was nice in that sense, but mm. not so nice in the sense that it is like really hard work. You can't even stop to like go to the toilet. Oh, or anything. really? And it costs a fortune because we always had to pay for the table, yeah. which costs. A lot of money, and you're there like selling merch or okay. yeah, that never quite. They're not so big on merch, my audience. So yeah. we were selling stuff, but it never quite actually <laughs> covered the cost of yeah. going. So like, but in the end, break even, wouldn't you? you tell me at the end of the weekend, you might have made a little bit, but like yeah, losing three we, days. Yeah, we didn't break even the last couple, and your health lost as well. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, actually. Uh, God, I got flu the last time. Or some, or some sort of, because you're shaking hands with all these people. Oh, They're yeah. all bringing diseases from all different parts <laughs> of the country. Yeah. And I, I guess it felt really strange. I went off to wash my hands and I couldn't bear to have any warm water on my hands. I thought, this is a bad sign because that is not normal. Yeah. I did, I literally was just talking to somebody that came and just collapsed. And, <laughs> and then was instantly up again. Oh, sorry about that. And pretended <laughs> I tripped or something. Just like, this is not good. And it took me like a month to get over. Oh, no. Combination of flu and thing. Oh, it was so ill man yeah that is yeah i mean you you make a really good point like you're you must be shaking like 600 hands yeah you were always saying to me when i stood next he's like make sure you sanitize like yeah Yeah. i mean i did very heavily but you can't avoid everything i wouldn't even think of that That as yeah the first time you're ill you get the common flu that reminds you but you yeah you just can't i think the comic con's a bit more interesting because you get all shapes and sizes and i remember like some of them were obviously quite nervous because they're coming to you know meet stuart and you know getting sweaty palms and (laughs) i punch them but there's a guy dressed in this huge like iron man i can't remember what the character was huge suit oh that would be one of these space marines yeah yeah absolutely he spent a whole year making it and like it was amazing can i have a picture and he has a helmet on so you can't even tell it's him it's like that and he's like see you later waddling off in this excel he must be like boiling like a kettle inside and took it off as like hi 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 yeah yeah put it back on for the picture and then yeah off he wanders off but i mean the whole um sort of cosplay i really i, I find that quite interesting when we get i've been to those events with you and you don't sort of get that there so i think that's that's quite a cool thing to see but it's just like fangirls really at those events isn't yeah. it and uh 
Fanboys. Fanboys. Yeah. Fan everyone. They say uh, VidCon London looks like it's going to be that kind of audience as well, unfortunately. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, did I you think... get an email I'm offering you tickets this week? Or last, one I last didn't month? this week. I think we had something going on, but it just it wouldn't yeah. be worthwhile, I don't think. Like the industry stuff might be interesting. The VidCon but is... my agent's going to go and I tell went me. to VidCon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Over in, in LA one, I went out once to do it. And generally, they do some really good stuff for the creators. They do some courses on the, on the Thursday and the Friday, some really good stuff like the future of Instagram and Facebook mm. and things like that, and then obviously Saturday and Sunday they let in you know the fans and they do the big like Rhett and Link are doing a show or something, mm. which is pretty cool. But um, but you know it's, it's just that certain thing they got. To, but for people in the industry, it's, it was pretty interesting. And I think they're doing that here as well. Um, I got asked to do a talk and I got an email from YouTube saying you know do you want some tickets and I was like no not not this time. It's it's, well, it's, it's only so much that you get out of it. And yeah. in a way, I was sat there watching some guy talking about it and I was like. I just want to enjoy what I do, if that means. Do you know what I mean? I want, there's, of course, there's ways to grow and stuff like that. But ultimately, if you love what you do, that's... And does, do these 14-year-olds love it? I don't know. Uh, they probably do, but do, they are they aware? They're making so much money. Yeah. Mm. They're living at home rent-free and they're making yeah. 15,000 miles yeah. a month in ad revenue. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, are they aware? I mean, there's those, that kid that does the box opening. I think he's the biggest gross in general. Right, yeah. Like, is it really... If you say that... I mean, he's into that now, obviously. But, like, you know, you can see so many people... These are the successful ones, right? For every successful, there must be. Oh, I, I mean, thousands, there be people yeah. that there must be people that really crave it and go, no, I want to be successful. Oh yeah, these kids that are like really pushy parents. You know, you see these pageants on the TV and stuff that are like you know, ma- there must be pageant. like there must be mums and dads that are <laughs> out there going, no, you're going right. to be a YouTube star. Like on you go, you're going to make us a lot of money. You know, and that yeah, pressure. There must be. There must be. Um, yeah, and yeah. It's, it's not going to work for most of them, is it? No. And, you know, the, the adults hard. bloody suffer from burnout and don't know when to stop and, you know, can't yeah. keep up with the pace of having to produce stuff and yeah. do things. So it must be bloody hard when you're eight. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like I said, oh, that yeah. theory of, like, you know, when you took that three months you went travelling, that, that, that the algorithm kind of, like, oh, if yeah. you don't stay fresh or regularly mm. in people's sub boxes, the more filtered and condensed it's getting, you know, you kind of, like... But even when you're on top and you're doing well, you're nervous, like, when, okay, when's yeah. it going to stop? When's yeah, it going to yeah. drop? Absolutely. Like, yeah. you know, what change are they going to make to the system that's going to destroy yeah. me next week? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That, yeah. that is very, you know, you're anxious before because you're not successful. And then when you do get there, it's like, when, when's it going to stop? Yeah. When are they going to slash my account? So that <sighs> Yeah, Casey Neistat did a really interesting video this last week, actually, about how it doesn't really matter about how many, many subscribers you get because you, you'll get up there. But then even then, it's then that pressure just to stay there. Whether you grow or not, just to maintain, right, I'm used to this level of views, this yeah. audience, this, mm. these commitments, he's outgoing. It's really like, it's hard. And it was focusing on burnout quite a bit, which is quite a big thing. But, uh, yeah. but even Casey had a, had a break. Like, I mean, he was doing the daily vlogging every day. And Ooh. I mean, he hit that. But I mean, that's what blew his channel up. But now, obviously, you know, he's doing some cool stuff. But yeah, it's it's really, there is that pressure. And, and they say the unknown. You know, yeah, you, look, just, you kind of look at him and say, oh, he can't complain about hmm. not being successful. And it's like, but. He does, you know. Once you reach that level of yeah. success, it's, you do have a, you have an expectation. Like, yeah. I I want to do a million views of video in because that's an what hour, you were saying. Your Instagram yeah. gets a million views. Yeah, that is insane. Yeah. So now, like when I post a video, I'm like, if it hasn't done fifty thousand views in half an hour, I'm like, this isn't going to do well. Wow. Like I know, and, and which yeah. is so silly. Like what we panic about, you know, you think big picture, like we panic about how many views or likes yeah. something gets. And obviously it's our job and we want it to do well because then we'll do well. But it's like, oh no, it's not done well. And oh, it hasn't got a million views. It's not good enough. But it's like if, if six months ago it done 400,000 views, I would have been like, oh my goodness, this is, this is game changing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So we kind yeah. of, you tape your expectations as you grow. So do you use any of your experience from working in that, that sort of creative, did you say you went to the creative agency? Yeah. Didn't you? Media yeah. agency, yeah. yeah. So I mean, did you, use, did you use any of the skills, like obviously how to, like your Instagram, obviously, is that accelerated because of some Ways super knowledge learned, that or, I got. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, what was I you even told me like, about tags and stuff, which you, know, you gave so. me like, that was two years ago. <laughs> suggestions, but like obviously on YouTube, I don't know. There's never there's never a formula on YouTube. It's just kind of like you gotta yeah. keep going and hope, and, and, until, and until they change about the notifications and stuff like that. Whereas you know, every model's got its own. But I wasn't sure if there was any experience you got on any of those platforms that you've managed to. So help I was them. when I first started. I was working for Diageo, who was like Smirnoff, yeah. Bailey, yeah, yeah, yeah. like big, mm. and they were spending, oh, like s- salaries a day on wow. Facebook advertising, just like promote this post, promote this post, promote this post, and it was just such. 
Like I looked at the content and it was such, you know, generic, uninspiring, you know, it was a bottle of alcohol with a mm-hmm. fairly average caption and they'd put 20 grand behind it. Wow. They'd be like, how many likes did we get? How many comments did we get? Like, and we had all these, what was it? When you put in a cell and it like color codes it based on like what's performing the best. And if okay. it, yeah, yeah. oh, and we just constantly analyze these numbers. And I guess what I'd learn from that was that you need to make like, good engaging content and it really did yeah. depend on and that sounds super generic and useless but yeah, could be authentic as well yeah or, they or were just produ- they were just spending money wasting money on things that just were uninspiring and what i kind of said earlier was like not adding value so when i yeah. look at content now i'm like what what in this video or in this post or what technique am i showing someone what am i doing that is unique and that's different so whenever i do something like I did something yesterday and I was like, it, you know, it looks good, but it's not, it's not unique enough. It's not different enough. I haven't taught someone something new, so I'm not going to put it up. So on, on your YouTube, you have a camera guy that helps you out. And yeah. the, those ones that you, the on Instagram ones, you self shoot those? Yeah, yeah. So I literally have, it's the most basics. I'm, I'm looking forward to the day. Someone's like, right, we're going to interview Matt at his house and they're going to see the despicable setup. Like, so I it's look like at, a small room with it. And it's literally my spare bedroom. Like I look at this and I don't have lights. I don't have, I've got one camera that I bought like six months ago because my other camera didn't even have autofocus on it. (laughs) I literally have a tripod and a camera looking at it and I focus it and I spoon whatever I'm spooning out and I press the record and I go downstairs and I finish it off and I come back up. So if it's grey outside or it's raining, the light is terrible. So I'm like, Uh exposure all the way (laughs) up. And then I'm on Adobe Premiere exposure to the max. (laughs) But like I have, it is the most basic setup. I mean, it's... I think it's, it works, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it, it, but it, now it, in the rut, like I would love to get really good with lights and have nice yeah. cameras, and so that every time it was perfect. But I'm too scared to. Mm. And from like, the outside, don't you can't tell. No, they, you they, can't. They, they, they look generally awesome. Yeah, you yeah. can't. You yeah, can't. Yeah, I mean, I'm, there's a lot of editing and increasing light, but yeah, apart from I've seen that, some of your behind the scenes as well. You know, they're getting frustrated sometimes because you, you get that real nice shot, and that is obviously in food. You yeah, know, you eat with your eyes and food porn and stuff. But the yeah. worst is like you know you're cutting. You've got one shot it, and then the camera for some reason the autofocus oh. like, goes in and out <laughs> of, and I'm like, yes, oh rip, rip, rip. my goodness, I've got to do the whole thing again. And yeah. often I'll only make one because. I don't need 20 tarts or whatever. So I've yeah. only, I've got one. <laughs> like I just made something before I came here and I've got three. So if, if you okay. know, if they don't work, yeah, that's so it. Got, like right. I'm just, I literally have one day to do this and if it doesn't work, I have to, have to it doesn't get done. Is that your favorite platform then? Because obviously on the YouTube stuff, you have a cameraman. I think I met him actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so He's a character. I mean, is he, is that, do you prefer like the engagement of Instagram at the quick and punchy or do you, do you like the both worlds? Or? It's so hard because when you're when you're riding high on YouTube, it is mm. the biggest buzz ever. I I, I saw you were on yeah. trending the was other it? week, or you, I think it was like a few oh, months ago. Yeah. Trend, you were trending. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were trending recently, but like that. I don't know how you even get on there. Yeah, <laughs> like stamped, I, I, stamped I dress envelope somewhere. I'm right? not. <laughs> I'm not there. Was I? Oh, I saw it. Yeah. Oh, I just saw it on right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Wait, was that, was that, is that, I never even know what trending is. So I I've, see it. I've never been there. It's usually Jimmy Kimmel, James Corden, yeah. and all these guys, and then they'll put some creators further down. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were in the 20s. Oh, next to Jimmy Kimmel or something? Yeah. No, no, he was like number three. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> next to, uh, Justin Jimmy Bieber's Barry. Uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> 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 just because it's still the resurgence of dislikes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but I, you know, there's that high of YouTube of when you're killing it. It's like, oh, there is no. Mm. I think a high of YouTube is better than anything else of being successful. Yeah, it's but just... uh, you know, I like the I like the community of Instagram. I love the creativity, especially from food a food point of view. Like the people are just so creative, and I get so many ideas and so much yeah. inspiration every day from there. Um, and it's kind of, I find Instagram a bit more commute. I feel like communal in that YouTube's quite solid and like you sit on your own. There's a lot of hate on YouTube as well. You sit, yeah. yeah. In the nicest way. Hi, yeah. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's a, I think it's a lot. I don't, yeah, I, see, I don't see any negativity so much on Instagram. No, general, and yeah. it also if there is negativity, like people just pounce on them immediately. Like, why would you say that? Really? Yeah. Like, it, and then they can like just scroll animals. past as well if they don't like it, which yeah. I think is also with YouTube. Mm, you're, yeah. you're in the video, whereas Instagram, I just, you know. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what it is. Like, YouTube, you're all in. It's you and your computer screen, your phone, and it's just like one-on-one with the creator. It mm. feels very 
personal, whereas I think Instagram is very much a community. You're connecting with like-minded people, and yeah. it's a, just a different vibe. But I mean, we don't know where it's going to go. We don't know. I just read this week that Instagram is merging with Messenger and WhatsApp. Uh, yeah, apparently so. Yeah, which really? is like, what? you know, these are people's careers or whatever, and it's yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah, we're just going to change it all. Wow. One day we'll wake up and his YouTube is going to be replaced by a website that shows pictures of badges or something. <laughs> badge yeah. tube. Badge tube. tube. <laughs> you badge. Yeah. That's interesting. So, what does your dad feel about your cooking then? I mean, like, obviously, um, <laughs> Michelin star chef. Right? Michelin star chef, yeah. yeah. I mean, so I was on a sh- when I first started out, I was on a show on Channel 4, actually, interestingly enough. Oh, cool. Um, it's quite funny because I had such a bad experience on the show and that there are two famous hosts on it. Um, you can say a show who, or do you not want to? Uh, oh, no, I can oh, yeah. say um, So it was Alice Levine, who is uh, a big Radio 1 presenter. Oh, oh yes, She does yes, the, yes, the, sorry. What, yeah. the Ring. Yeah, the okay. Ring. Oh, yeah. She hosts Yeah, that, that show. Yeah, ring. I know the one you mean. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's cool. uh, oh, what's her name? Laura Jackson. Laura Jackson. And they oh, are a little duo who do, they have like Jackson and Levine, they host supper clubs. And so this show was about me hosting my own supper club. Right. So I got given this plush house in London, like, million pound house to host a supper club um and they were just a bit i I just started out i was obviously topless they were like what is this this is weird kind of like laughing at me and i just felt Mm. oh i just felt like such a lack of confidence in that moment like oh i've been really knocked down here Mm. um anyways i've got more instagram followers than now so (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah moving on up in the world uh and my dad was at this show was like surprised me and i actually cried on camera because i didn't know he was coming which is it's it's a funny thing to watch and they said what do you think of matt cooking and you know doing this and she he goes well i like his muscles (laughs) (laughs) it doesn't say anything about the food but um I think he really enjoys that I'm in food. I think he wishes I cooked savoury food. He sent me an okay. email the other week. And he's like, Matt, I, yeah, these are just four suggestions I think your audience would love. He's like, what about a salmon on croute with brioche? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I was like, Dad, no one eats salmon on croute yeah. with brioche. Like it just, but you could do a lovely scaling on the brioche to look like a salmon. I was like, honestly, Dad, people just want caramel and maybe some it's, praline, like salmon and brioche. Yeah, bacon is is big isn't it and it's it's nice and it's easy on the eye and yes you know, that's the aesthetics yeah. of it and like as yeah. much as I, I mean i don't salmon on crew who, who yeah 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 salmon on crew yeah. yeah i mean not more than twice a week yeah, least, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like oh make a chicken curry i'm like dad i'm just that's just not yeah. that's not me well, what do you think the thing is about baking that people love i know you bake off that. what do you think it is and what do you like because for me baking is i love to cook but baking so particular yeah like, i'm not good at that like you know i love like i'll put a bit of this and a dash of that yeah, you know, yeah. baking is I, I can't like i'm not very good at it. but like for you what do you what do you get at I mean, I guess in our world that we live in now, it's very like, you have a six pack, you've got to look amazing, yeah. you've got to eat vegan. And it's like, you know what? I just, I love indulging on a brownie. Yeah. Or it's, there's, there's these two worlds at the moment of like super healthy. And then you kind of switch at night and you're like, oh, I just want to be really indulgent. It is weird, yeah. Like you said about the salmon on crew, if, if you had that and that on the, on the cake on the Instagram feed, you're scoring for like, it, as anyone, you know, whether it's, you would just, I mean, unless you're obsessed with salmon, you would just be drawn to the cake. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like a natural, it's like a guilty pleasure thing, like some sort of like satisfying thing, like a sugar craving, or yeah. maybe not even the sugar, just it's just naughty. So there's something in that, like, oh, I can have that, or at least because you cook like a lot it. of savoury. I do, yeah, and, then, and I know so, that they so won't. Do you prefer sweet or savoury? I, or... I prefer savoury, but I know sweet will do way better. That's, okay. that's oh, the really? bottom line. I know it will. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I, um, actually, anyone that recommend that gets in touch with me, I say start a, start a sweet based channel. Don't I mean the, uh, my roast dinner playlist that I've been doing recently is doing re- like for me, I get much more from that now. I think I'm starting to do things that I'm answering questions and projects and real fun stuff and yeah. uh, like justifying it. Like if I just do how to make a roast beef, like it's not you know it's all okay, but if I build it as a whole roast beef dinner, so there's more value in that. So there's four or five things within the video. Yeah. That's quite exciting. But I, I know no matter how hard I hammer that video or like get excited, I really try and be like, oh, this, you know, crack some jokes and have a bit of fun with it. Uh, I just know if I just do a, a really food porny cake or mm. um, homemade McDonald's apple pie, <laughs> just get 10 times the views. And it's in a strange way, in the early days, it really did drive my direction because like you say, you've got to be like, well, I'm at the cusp here of, 
this is paying my salary yeah uh so it does it does drive it but i i prefer making savory stuff because it, i don't know i, I want to there's so much more that i can learn i think okay. you know? but then with cake with cakes like you say like shoe pastry the whole patisserie you know, thing there's so much you can go down but i think generally it is definitely something that with your eyes you're just like oh cakes sweets it's just you but know. your ability like i see you like 7 a.m been to supermarket smashed out a video yeah and edited as it, kids like... that is i want to get out the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that is yeah. your ability to oh it's insane how much you can do in such a short space of time and have oh, like right. a video edited by three o'clock and then when the kids yeah. are home you're done like that's yeah i mean that, that's the lifestyle you could do one a day yeah i could i mean but then there's that mental exhaustion thing and um, yeah I think it's just pacing out a little bit. And luckily I've got someone to help my editing now a little bit, which is really good. So, but I still have that mindset of like, you know, I really base it on lighting in my kitchen. I, I just do it on natural daylight and yeah. the light bulbs. Uh, and just, you know, if it gets dark, I'm like, hey, this is real, you know. So and you use no lights or something? No. I no I've either. tried it before, like in my studio setup that I had. Oh, and it yeah. was just like, it looked good, but then that's that's not me. If that, okay, That's not yeah. my USB. It could yeah. be if I slowly merge it in, but if you suddenly go like that, I ask and you know, Stuart would tell you, like, you know, people hate change. Yeah, I mean, I've, I use lights. I use these, literally these three panels above the sofa. Oh, yeah. But only because you can't see it. If not, it still looks like shit, you know, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> but that's your USP, right? So, yeah, USP looks like shit. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. thing, though, you guys all think something when you want to try something different. Like, you know, because I've worked with all these guys for years. It's just like people have such a reaction. It's like, go back to doing what you've yeah. been doing for yeah. six years. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember when you changed and I was, you said there was a reaction. I was like, it, it honestly can't be. I was like, I don't mm. believe. And I read the comments. I was like, <laughs> I can't believe. I woke up how... an accident emergency. Yeah. Oh my God. yeah. I was yeah, just yeah. so surprised <laughs> at how vocal people were. Yeah, yeah. And like, for if me, I changed, yeah, I think people would be like, and I dug my heels in for a bit. I was like, no, I'm going to stick this through. And I was like, hang on. So this, this is potentially, it's a few months time. I might have to like suddenly quit YouTube entirely unless I do something drastic. And it was, you know, 50-50 of the audience saying no. It's almost like being a plumber or an electrician. I'm trying to make it quite generic. That goes out and works all over the country and then is said, hey, Mike, don't do electrics on in Liverpool. Work from home. Just do it there. We love it when you you, you just do your electrics on your own. Oh, work from home. Yeah, just the tell YouTube someone that, electrician. Yeah, uh, there, there should one. be. Big is Clive. It? Yeah. Big Clive. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, it's just like being told, keep it real. And I was like, yeah, you guys are telling me to not spend four grand a month on rent and the cameraman and the ingredients. Because I was, I had a whole... S s that was like, a slick setup. Yeah, it was awesome. It was slick. I mean, you could have made a TV show in that thing. Yeah. And, and it's still there and available. I just got to maybe work into it. But I, I was opening the cupboards and I was like, so I've bought all this flour and stuff and ingredients. And I'm like, well, I can't take all this home. I've got bags of it. And I bring it home and I'll be like, well, I can use that as our genuine food to eat at home. And we had this, like... I mean, our kitchen at home was nowhere near as the one I was like put in and put a brand new fridge in and uh yeah it's you know you got to go where the audience tells you but you learn from it I think and um you're still Barry from the block oh yes I've lost my virginity but I'm still Barry from the block <sighs> yes and in fact changing my name that was a huge thing yeah, uh, yeah. recently um, yes yeah to uh cookie actually yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was uh that was quite uh I was really worried about that um but I've, I've, I've pushed on with it and uh the reaction that's a sometimes we had and i were talking earlier it's like you build yourself up to something so i think youtube makes you like that so you any little thing you do oh um you know i've got a nose piercing or something <laughs> 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 you know what i mean Barry must die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like you do something different you're like yeah but like, people are like oh you know you've you've got you know you've You've still got that T-shirt that you had um, two months ago. Do you not wear a different one every video, or you know, or you've 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 using a different jug? Did you buy <laughs> Did you buy a new like <laughs> jug from Dunham Mill or something like? It's crazy. Like the little intricate details, you like suddenly realise you're sharing your life online, yeah. and um, yeah, that's something we probably all share. Like. I mean, you're pretty good. You just show your hands in the brown sofa generally. Yeah, I keep it very low key. Occasionally do something slightly different, but it's always mixed in with the other bits. And then if I do something big, it's like insanely big, like a feature film, which obviously <laughs> yeah. is uh, so absolutely different to the <laughs> yeah. normal stuff that nobody's going, why did you change it? Because we're not. That still exists, but we've done this crazy exactly. I think high if it quality doesn't, thing as well. Yeah, affect your bread and butter and you can still do that. And mm. then you do that as an extra. That's mm, fine. I yeah, think that's, that's, that's where I'm going. Don't yeah. change the core of what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. 
Um, you did a podcast, the uh, the Bake Off podcast. Yes, when, uh, Bake Off oh. Undressed. Yeah. Uh, like how how was that? How did you find doing a podcast? Is it are you bringing it back for another season, or was so, it just a? Experiment? I think when I first started, I was terrible. It's interesting to be doing another podcast because yeah. the first one I've done since I, I, I finished them. mine. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I was Delete just, this immediately. It's yeah. difficult because I was. I guess hosting for the first time on a on a podcast, which I hadn't done, so I was very, and I had a, not a script, but I had a very strict timings and what we had to hit. So I kind of had this spiel I had to get through, and so it was very probably nervy to start off with. Mm. Um, but I loved it. I love meeting a new guest every week. Yeah. I loved you know just having a ch- chat with somebody like like we are, yeah, and just yeah, watching it flow yeah. quite naturally and kind of going off into different tangents. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully a second season. I think not around the Bake Off because we did a Bake Off only podcast, which was great, but very niche to the UK. Um, okay. And I want to do something more about just like I, I would like to cook with somebody in the kitchen and be mic'd up and just kind of okay. talk as we are cooking and yeah. talk through the recipe and talk through their story. Um, yeah, like a l- lapel mic. So yeah, some, uh, something yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Otto Lange did something similar recently. Um, but maybe hopefully better than Otto Lange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's really cool. I've uh, I've only heard of Otto Lange because I got my girlfriend the book for Christmas. Oh with yeah, a big lemon on the front. I got that one too. Simple was it called? Yes, yes. She's I got actually that. quite enjoying it. I haven't tried it. So the podcast's not very good then. I think his podcast. Like, well, his podcast had some big hitters. He had like Nadia Hussain off the bat, Ooh. who won Bake Off. So he like yeah, she's everywhere now. Yeah, as well, he like, was yeah. just it was great because it had the big hitters. But I like the way you could kind of hear the kitchen sounds. He was like, oh, I'm just going to put this, yeah. ding, 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 whatever. Terrible person. Oh, so it's quite relaxed sort of vibe, yeah. <laughs> Would you ever go on the Bake Off? I mean, I, I get asked that a lot and I'm like, no. Cause oh, you, well, you're certain. I wouldn't uh, for two reasons. One, because I think it's gone down a weird road now of like Victorian week. And I'm like, that does not judge me as a baker. Like, mm. give me bread and I can test my skills. But cooking over coals to make flatbreads so that's not my yeah. <laughs> yeah so i'd be yeah. worried that i would bomb and like affect, you know that would affect me because it'd be like oh wow you you are hyped up as this big thing and you totally crashed out um but secondly you can't go on if you've been paid to cook for so that's oh, really? my job is to yeah i didn't know celebrity baker. yeah i mean yeah. i guess that then i wonder if they'd say like he's cheating because he is he's a, a baker yeah celebrity celebrity baker yeah it's an interesting um, one so, so you don't, don't like the out the route it's gone down with bake off then i or? do you know i did yeah. like the season and this yeah. it was funny because i was had this podcast i was so invested in it like i knew every detail and um i just think you know it maybe run its course it's like okay yeah eight nine ten seasons i'm kind of waiting for something yeah. else now. they switched to channel four haven't they and yeah uh, it's, it's and it, they did do it. a good job i think Noel fielding and sue good i just think like okay mm. We've done 10 seasons now. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're not, the bakers aren't having as much success as they once were. Like four, five, six years ago, those guys were big time celebs and now they're kind of... Yeah, that Nadia's clung on. Like, oh, Nadia's yeah. killed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell, we spoke to Matt Riley, didn't we? We Who, did, we had Matt Riley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah he's, he um, he, he wasn't on. a winner, but he's still like, really well known. Yeah. And, you know, it was such a big thing at the time, wasn't it? Yeah. I remember meeting him at the pub and I was just so starstruck because I was like, yeah. oh my God, like Matt Riley wants to have a drink with me. And yeah. He was, a, he was a quarter finalist, but he was just, that whole season of them. It was Nadia's yeah. season, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah and then, like, yeah. Selassie did really well. That's right. Liam did really well, and they didn't win. But yeah, they yeah. really good story. were person, personable. Yeah, he had a really good story, uh, Matt. He about did. rugby tackling, uh, he didn't. He, he didn't. Oh, oh no, nearly right. rugby tackled. Um, oh, Paul Weller. Paul, Paul Weller. Weller. Yeah, he got. Um, he was at some sort of a few social drink thing, and then Paul Weller was stood there, and it was just sort of saying, "Oh, he loves. He loves being like rugby tackled. Just you know. yeah, rugby tackled. Love it. He love it. Yeah, he's, you're a big he's lad. Notoriously grumpy as well. I don't think it would have gone down well. It was on Jules Holland, wasn't it? Yes, mm, Jules that's Holland. right. Yeah, he was in anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was like, "Oh, I don't know if I should," and that, and he'd had a few more, but he didn't. But he was. Which at, I was everyone, disappointed yeah. with at the end of the story. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean that was. Yeah, yeah. I was disappointed. So yeah, that's uh, one of our favourite embarrassing stories. I'll come on to that in just a minute. So, have you got a favourite thing that you've ever made? Favourite thing? I always give the same answer. I feel like I have to give the same answer. Um, lemon tart. Nice. So I grew up eating my dad's lemon tart, and it is the business. Like you will not eat guaranteed a better lemon tart. Really? It is. I've eaten in Michelin star restaurant. There's no not a better. So lemon is it tart. your dad's recipe? So my dad's recipe. Yep. Yeah. 
Um, I've kind of elevated a little with a better pastry recipe. Yeah. My pastry recipe is now <laughs> you want to make it for him, take it around um, and eat it. Yeah, he, he judges a lot of my food. Oh, so the lemon cool. tart is my all-time favourite. Awesome. And yeah. worst thing you've ever made? Oh, this is not sweet, but I, I tried to make a, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, beef stroganoff. Oh, mm. And it was disgusting, like inedible. Like a one mouthful. Because like, it has like, lemon juice in it. Is it a, a beef like, stroganoff. Yeah. It, I, I've used wine and stuff. It's, it's like lemon juice and like capers or like little okay. pickles. Oh, so you get a bit harsh on the lemon? And or? it was like, and it's cream and lemon and pickles. and it, oh. oh, and it has like wild rice instead. Okay, of, yeah, yeah. Oh, disgusting. So Ooh. just a whole... Like, yeah, it was... I mean, it was... I think it was the only dish my girlfriend's never eaten. Have you had any mishaps on filming? Uh, any bloopers? I mean, I've had... Ooh. I get quite a few. I've never cut myself, actually, ever. Good. Which is really good. I cut myself a lot when I'm not filming. I think I'm more relaxed. <laughs> but um, I've dropped ice lollies and, you, you know... really set my house on toaster. fire. toaster, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly set your yeah, house on fire. That was recent, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a grilled With cheese the grilled toaster. cheese yeah. I mean, it was. I like the way everybody always knows. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah. Like, you nearly died, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was probably trending, if anything. On no. camera as well. I mean, you're yeah. just yeah. like, okay, I'm nervous. I just burnt my house down. <laughs> but for the views, yeah. I mean, oh, yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and Look that's at that what title. we did so well as we put that at the front of the video. The first thing you see is like me going, oh, don't panic or something like that, and just smoke everywhere. And you know, when you buy a new appliance, it's like a little bit of smoke may come away when you first turn it on. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, well, it's American. Yeah, particularly know, if it, it wants might be a, 120 <laughs> volts and you've plugged it into 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, like, well, uh, it's got a bit of smoke and then... No smoke on the crepe. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, crep. I think our ceiling is stained a little bit in smoke, actually, because it was just so much. And I opened the windows. My dogs were like, I couldn't even see them. They're in there like, what the heck? So, yeah, that was pretty uh, that was pretty bad. But, yeah, it is. But when you're filming, like, especially for you taking that slice, yeah. there is that pressure. Uh, I did an advert for Sainsbury's, and they were like, just flip the burger, look, act natural. And there's like 60 people behind the camera. Really? I flipped this burger, no joke, over 10 times, like 100%. And they were like, oh, can you do it a little, little less smiley? Yeah, 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 sure. And, like... I'm like, they have to repeat, replace the burger every single time. The pan's changing temperature, run out of oil, so I keep changing it. Like, right, go now. Like, I'm just waiting. The oil's cold, so it ain't going to sizzle. You want the sizzle? Right, okay. It's act normal. To be relaxed. And you're like, <laughs> you're like floppy like, like, armor. You're I like, need to see this. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's like, right, flip the burger. And like, yeah, okay. So, first few, I was like that. But then they, they start to really, like, yeah, like, what am I doing wrong? What is not natural? Why do they want me to... Yeah, don't smile. You, know, you look too serious. Like, you look like angry at it. I'm like, just, I'm just flipping a burger. Focus on the burger. You like, hate that burger. Yeah, yeah. Use that hanger. He ended up with this sort of like, uh, cheesy <laughs> smile thing. Yeah. But should we get on to our final big three questions? Go for it. It might unearth some gold, actually. It sometimes Ooh. does. Like Paul Weller. Um, have you ever been on a local newspaper? No, you are Never. The only newspaper I've been in is Heat Magazine. Hit, that's a national publication. Yeah. That's, that's but big not, not necessarily. I was a small blob in the corner and it was my recipe that was for ah. a chocolate meringue lollipop. Oh, nice. Yeah, like popsicle? Popsicle, yeah. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So that was probably the most national thing. You might I've have been in received. a local paper but just never known about it, possibly. Maybe. Yeah. Um, never been in a shard school. That's a good thing. You never, no, never want to be no. in that. <laughs> never been recognised walking down the street in Norwich. Really? Have you been recognised walking down the street in Norwich? Yeah, several oh, times go. a week usually. Really? But always by my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should do it as a limo arrive in a minute. <laughs> okay, you it. Oh, no, you it me off there. occasionally, yeah. joking aside. But when you get spotted, Not that often. it does. You, you might have been spotted. Like when we went in somewhere in the city, people were saying, hey, topless baby. See, there. I get yeah. spotted more. In, I went to New York a few months ago, and it was like, New York, it was insane in New York. Yeah, because you've got American audience. You said yeah, quite a bit, like yeah. six in a day, which is oh, awesome. insane. That's and but and you had your like, top on as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. They're like, I'm so sorry. And then they recognised Sasha as well. My fiance, like, is that Sasha too? And I was like, yeah, like that's really creepy. Wow, yeah, yeah. Becky, uh, my wife, and the kids, like, um, they were spotted um, all going around boots, getting the chemist quite recently, and someone they were <laughs> made on someone's Snapchat an Instagram story that they tagged me, and I was like, it's my no wife. Way. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Are you Mrs. Barry? Yeah, we don't yeah. use, we don't need paracetamol. Well, what's she doing down that aisle? <laughs> like, but it's scary, like, but it's quite nice when people come up and it say, it's really and, nice. Yeah, it's you know, and generally everyone's like good and all that stuff. And I love no, it. There's no bad stuff, but. Yeah, it's. Uh, well, the, but the worst is though when they they look at you but they don't want to approach you. You can oh, see like yeah, the yeah. eyes, mm, and yeah. you're like, please come over, because they'll make me feel. I yeah. feel it'll just make us both feel a little bit better if yeah. you come over. Yeah. And some people get really shaky hands. That's a weird thing I've noticed. They won't say they recognise you, but their hands go weird. Comic Con, so there was a lot of that, and that happened yeah. with when I was giving blood. Really? Yeah. Well, the, the person <laughs> giving you blood. 
hang on, no. <laughs> that's not good. He's fine, uh, obviously. I, I, Drained professional on my I told you about the guy that checked me in at the hotel, not last night, though. I, I turned up in Norwich at like 20 to 4 in the morning. Oh, the guy is like, and he do. sorted me out. He looked like Brian Gunn, the uh, Norwich, oh, former yeah. Norwich City goalkeeper. He's like, have a stonking stay. Was he the and mayor like, at one point? Oh, wow. Yeah, he, he was. Was. yeah he said, have a stonking stay. And just as Because you could see that I was knackered, and that was it. He's just like, I was like, oh, it's a stonk it. Oh, that's why. I, oh, and it doesn't need triggers. So sometimes people say, they didn't always say, oh, hello. They'll just say, oh, I love what you did. It's just that passing moment. So you don't actually get a chance to say thank you. It's, it's, it's cool. But yeah, So national coverage, that's cool. National I only coverage. do national, international. Only, yeah, only national. Yeah. Um, national. Most famous person you've ever met? <sighs> Very recently, Jamie Oliver. Yeah, I've seen, seen it, yeah. shaking. Oh, he's, oh. he's lovely. Yeah. yeah, you're like... You're part of the Jamie crew. Uh, no, he's yeah, he's a nice guy there, right? Yeah, oh, very passionate. Like exactly. Yeah, you know, some people are very. You see them on TV and you meet them in real life, and you're like, oh, you're a real a hole. Yeah, but he is exactly how he is. Did you meet Gennaro? Oh, no, he, I did see him at an event. I was close to him, but I'm like, I like Gennaro, but I'm not as yeah. fussed by Gennaro. Yeah, like, he, he is crazy. Yeah. Like he reeled off this like amazing recipe. I, I just asked him how how he was or something. I just walked. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like talking about truffles. Who is this? Like, oh, it's, a, uh, it's Italian chef. Like, like basically Jamie's like mentor. Jamie's right hand oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trained him up, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyone non foodie? Or... I've met non foodie that's famous. Did your old job like? Did you, you know encounter anyone like that? I think I met you on. No, I've, I met someone from Made in Chelsea once, but I feel like that's not... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not... No, not convinced no. Jamie. No, uh, Jamie's no, a good one. No, I think Jamie's the biggest. Okay. Most embarrassing situation you've ever been in? Gosh. I don't think I've ever told the story, not even to my fiance, but I'll give oh. it to you guys. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, <laughs> I got invited to a very famous pastry school in Italy. Ooh. Like one of the best in the world. And they were like, can you come and teach a class for, for Women's Day, which is a day in Italy. And is I was this like, recently? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Very, very, <laughs> very <Yesterday>. recently. <laughs> uh, I was like, okay, this is like, this is big time. This is where the top pastry chefs in the world, like, wow. Okay, so I was like, sending them recipes. I'm going to make this, 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 this. And they're like, oh, no, it's a little bit complicated. I was like, okay, this, this, this. They're like, mm, no. Okay, and then they're like, actually, can you just do these recipes? And they sent me like fish and chips, pork pie, and then like a chocolate cake. Right. So they're like, we want you to just cook English food. And I was like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pastry chef, quote unquote. I was like, I can't believe I'm going to have to. And bear in mind, I've never made fish and chips or pork pie before. <laughs> so I was like, it's fine. Anyway, so I show up to this cookery school and they're like, okay, you're going to do it like this, this. I'm teaching these people how to make fish and chips and pork pie. And they're like, why is the chips doing this? And I was like, I don't know, just fry them again. Like I, <laughs> they were asking me these questions. I literally had no idea. I didn't even know if it was going to be raw. What it was, yeah. I didn't know what it was going to taste like. And then um, I think it was, was it someone's birthday? Or I don't know. But basically the lights just turned off in this room. We were making dessert. And then they started playing the um, theme tune. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. And right. they, basically, <laughs> they basically encouraged me to take my apron oh. off. And I just felt so much pressure that I took my apron off and basically danced while whipping cream in front of these groups. Oh, wow. Of women. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I basically went from thinking I'm going to teach at the best pastry school in the world yeah. oh. to stripping in front of uh, a room shit. full of women. Wow. It's not like we want you to teach, yeah. but not really we want you to dance oh, was... for the amusement of the ladies. But they set you up, they didn't tell you about it. Yeah, I was crushed. Oh, I was wow. like, oh Mate. my God, this is so embarrassing. Oh but now I'm like, oh yeah, I went. I taught at that pastry school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that is, that's, probably my, that's probably the lowest moment of my career. Wow. Oh, that's so you a think that foul was, trick to play. That, that was their really like, literally is. plan, you think? I don't know. I don't. I don't think like the whole thing was set up to do that. I think it oh, was good. like. Good. I think they were being I was very go over like. And punch them yeah. Right. It was like fun and games, and you know. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't that serious, but I wow. did. I did. I felt just felt this pressure that I had Ooh. to take it off, and yeah. oh, it's terrible. Awesome. Um, well, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. 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 I was, yeah was it never attacking anything? Empathy there. That was a secret. No one videoed it. No. Ah, to say if like tagged on twitter or something like no. that. No, didn't see that one <laughs> no i unfortunately deleted that one 
So um, I think we're coming to the end now. Do you want to summarise where people can find you? Obviously, as you've got every handle for Topless yeah, Baker, Yeah, just right? Topless Baker. Yeah. There is, you just just be careful. Don't type Topless, then press enter because you'll get something kind of dodgy. Yeah. You might have to skip through a few bad things, but you'll find Topless Baker. I was going to say, the search is, like, you know, obviously yeah. uh, Naked uh, Ladies. Naked Baker, yeah. Naked the Baker. Patrons, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm giving going to give us some Patreon <laughs> subscribers. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Send some back this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. I'll have to check her out. But right. Thank you for having me. It's no, no pleasure. worries. Yeah, yeah, thank you for coming on, man. Yeah. I greatly appreciate it. Anytime.